Hello, everyone, and welcome to this webinar from Retail Pro International and AppCard, How to Drive More Predictable Loyalty Revenue with Targeted Points Redemption Strategies. My name is Uliana Avatisov. I'm part of the team at Retail Pro, and I'm happy to introduce to you today our partners at AppCard. Um, AppCard is an artificial intelligence-powered personalized marketing and rewards platform. Uh, it uses smart data capture and machine learning to help you analyze, target, and engage with your customers. So AppCard is fully integrated with Retail Pro Prism, as well as, of course, legacy versions of Retail Pro. Um, so your shoppers can automatically get rewards for their purchases after every transaction. Um, what you're going to hear today from AppCard is actually, it's actually findings from our new report, which will be released in January 2022. Very excited for that. Um, the AppCard team basically took a look at the data for retail pro users who put their AppCard platform to very good use during uh, COVID. And so they're going to share the pandemic time impact of customer engagement through this platform. Uh, they're also going to share with you some salient tips on how to advance key metrics like average ticket size, sales, new shoppers generated, right? And um, how your team can start applying these tips today to drive a more predictable loyalty revenue, um, especially in with COVID times when things were a bit uncertain as far as who's coming in the store, who's, who's going to be able to, you know, keep shopping with you and whatnot, keeping your finger on the pulse of where your customers are um, and being able to stay engaged with them was very, very important. And uh, having that predictable loyalty revenue coming in was was a, was a big part of a lot of retailer strategies for, for getting through COVID. So without further ado, allow me to uh, present to you AppCard's very own Candy Cardoso. Thanks so much, Ileana, and welcome everyone. For those of you who I have not had the pleasure of working with before, my name is Candy Cardoso, and I am a senior account executive at AppCard. I've been here a little over five years now and handle all things Retail Pro. Um, so as Juliana has mentioned, on today's agenda, we will be discussing um, some key points in how to um, apply points redemption strategies to um, drive more revenue. We will be discussing topics such as customer loyalty in a post-COVID world, measuring the metrics on several case studies we have conducted, as well as applying effective strategies to drive more revenue. And we work with all versions of Retail Pro. We are compatible um, with all versions, including the newest version, Prism. And to talk a little bit more about AppCard, what is AppCard? AppCard is much more than a simple loyalty and rewards program. AppCard is a CRM, loyalty, email marketing and text marketing platform all in one. AppCard is built into the Retail Pro POS, so it is a natural part of sales associate workflow, increasing employee adoption and customer enrollment. Retail Pro POS data is integrated into the AppCard platform and is processed through AppCard's machine learning algorithms to send personalized messaging based on, on learned shopping behavior. With AppCard, retailers have flexibility to build unique loyalty and rewards programs. AppCard success managers are also available to help you determine effective programs based on specific margins and goals for your business. Now, it's fair to say that COVID broke all the rules. In the wake of the pandemic, companies need to rethink their customer loyalty and customer retention approaches. Brands growing in a new era will use this turning point as an opportunity to look to the future and drive change. Meanwhile, the same question is on everyone's mind. How can retailers make their products, services, and brands more relevant to consumers during and after this unprecedented time? So let's get started. What's changed? The disruption over the past 21 months has created new consumer behaviors and in some cases new consumer profiles many of which we expect to continue even after we fully emerge from the pandemic in fact according to a recent mckinsey report on consumer sentiment 75 percent of u.s consumers have changed their shopping habits with the majority of doing so for value availability and convenience 
So brands are recognizing that many of the orthodox methods that existed prior to the pandemic have been changed forever, requiring reevaluation of traditional approaches to building customer loyalty. Becoming digital has been a crucial business strategy in the pandemic. So while it can be tempting to wait for things to go back to normal, the fact is we're not going back. The retail industry is evolving rapidly and retailers need to adapt to that change. So when we measure the, main, the metrics, a picture may be worth a thousand words, but a snapshot of hard analytical data is worth even more. Using data is essential to understanding shoppers and maximizing the relationship between your brand and loyalty program members. The power behind the app card platform assists you to not only assess the data, but to make the data actionable. Extracting insights from your data plays an important role into how successful your loyalty program is in attracting the most profitable customers. So now let's take a look at a brief overview of our case studies we'll be looking at. Our case studies examine the impact of the pandemic across three different retail environments, clothing retail, cosmetics, and footwear. Each of these retailers have been with Appcar throughout the course of the pandemic era, pre, mid, and post shutdown. So these studies spotlight how retailers using AppCard together with Retail Pro POS have succeeded with proactive strategies adopted into their marketing plan. And in order to truly understand the relationship between AppCard and their retailers, we've gathered data straight from the source. Our cloud-based reporting dashboard tracks 100% of all transactions, both from your brick and mortar locations, as well as your e-commerce platform. There are over 105 different real-time transaction-based reports you can access at any given time. So after much review and a little help from AppCard success management team, we were able to see how these retailers performed and how they achieved their results. And in terms of proven marketing strategies, Marketing is the most important part of a growing business. And if you're looking for marketing strategies that are powerful, there are two things that you should know. One, what are the best marketing strategies and how these marketing strategies work best. From what we've gathered in these case studies, we found that these five strategies have been the most impactful in maximizing the effectiveness of their marketing campaigns, which includes targeted SMS promotions, opt-in reward bonuses, re-engagement campaigns, spend more to get more, and of course, personalized promotions. Along with these strategies, AppCard's customer segmentation capabilities allows retailers to identify specific data points about shoppers. These data points are useful year round and can help create a data-driven strategy that boosts revenue year round as opposed to just a flash in the pan effort. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Our first case looks at a clothing retailer who has seen a boost in loyalty and customer engagement since partnering with AppCard back in May, 2019. Now shoppers love loyalty. And this retailer enrolled approximately 50% of their shoppers in the AppCard loyalty program. And within the first three months, loyalty shoppers were responsible for more than 60% of all sales. And that's pretty impressive. Post shutdown, this clothing retailer came back strong, almost recouping pre shutdown revenue levels with loyalty shoppers supporting more than 80% of total sales revenue. So, what we've observed is that this company benefited from AppCard new customer enrollment strategies, such as opt in reward bonuses, as well as personal. Our feedback, the success or failure of any customer facing initiative will rise or fall on the shoulders of the customer interfacing piece of your business. In the brick and mortar world, this is your cashiers. In order for your customers to participate in the loyalty program, your cashiers must interact with them 
and acknowledge the program during every transaction. This means that part of the checkout process must now include a simple question asked by all of your employees. They simply ask shoppers the following. Are you a rewards member? What's your phone number? Next is to provide shoppers with an incentive to join the program. The incentive can be $5 off of your next purchase. This is particularly powerful during the holiday as shoppers look back to save a little money where they can. So you should look at this as not, not a discount you're giving, but rather a purchase you are making. You are paying your shopper $5 to give you their identity so that you may track their purchases and curate rel relative content to them to increase your conversion rates. Oh. On to our next case. Now, this cosmetics retailer has impressively advanced sales and posted strong, consistent performance on average ticket and new shopper acquisition throughout the pandemic period. As the pandemic reached its most challenging point for the company in late 2020, total sales increased from the start of the year to its highest levels ever. And the spread between app card sales and non-app card sales reached 50% in app card's favor, indicating that in a time of crisis, shopper loyalty is a crucial factor in maintaining revenue streams. It is also important to note that from the end of 2020 into 2021, sales dramatically spiked with an average of 27.5%. Now, let me say that again, 27.5%. And what we've seen is that these spikes were driven by this retailer leveraging app cart tools, including promotions and customer segmentation to continually increase loyalty-based sales over the course of the last three years, including the pandemic. And our head of success management, Mirage Pandeya, describes this a little bit more in detail. Shoppers need to be made fully aware of promotions for retailers to succeed. SMS is particularly effective because it can reach the vast pool of reaches of customers on a device they'll always have with them. With this in mind, it's plain and simple. Promote, promote, promote. <laughs> If you are not outreaching to your loyal customers, how do you expect to maximize the effectiveness of your promotion or your offer? AppCard's easy to use customer segmentation tool allows retailers to create promotions targeted to specific audiences. Personalization lets shoppers know you value them and their needs, an immensely powerful tool for building out loyalty. So shoe, retail, shoe retailers operating brick and mortar stores were hit particularly hard by the pandemic. This was no exception to shoe retailers on the app card platform. Our last case highlights the idea, customers who are appreciated remain loyal. When customers believe they are saving on their purchases, they tend to spend more. And this merchant revealed that after enrolled shoppers spend on an average of 14%. And what we've noted, this particular retailer uses AppCard's flexible functionality and program options to create a multi-tiered loyalty system that incentivizes shoppers to spend more to get more. So shoppers would earn one point for each dollar they spent up until they reached $1,000 in total spent. Once crossing this bridge, shoppers would begin to earn two points for each dollar spent, accelerating the reward earnings and ensuring a greater wallet share from its loyalty shoppers. Our next topic, how to drive more revenue. The logic behind it is simple. The engaged customer is a more valuable customer. In my opinion, the future of loyalty programs lies in database personalization. This makes longer term engagement all the more important. A lack of engagement can be the death knell for a reward program, and brands need to consider how to sustain customer activity and interest over the long term. 
it's not enough to invest in building a loyalty program and studying the results. Brands need to devote resources towards long-term engagement. So how points redemption strategies can drive more revenue. Loyalty programs are as much about shopper retention and repeat purchases as they are about increasing shopper spend on a transaction by transaction basis. So as you brainstorm your redemption strategy game plan, think about customer values in relation to your company values. How long will it take for customers to redeem their rewards? How can we make this redemption process simple and easy to understand? What we know from former findings are that shoppers tend to spend more during transactions in which they believe they are saving money. We can achieve this effect through points redemptions for rewards. So working with this concept, Apcard turns the redemption process into predictable cycles for retailers. So let's talk a little bit about the science behind driving more revenue. To determine the thresholds for redemption or how much each shopper must spend before redeeming their points for a reward, we will want to consider a few data points that will ensure margin preservation for the retailer. The average transaction size will tell us how much each shopper spends per purchase. This data point will allow us to determine how many purchases or return visits to the store we want shoppers to make before earning a reward. Now let's put this, <laughs> this thought into practice. Let's say in this example that a retailer's shoppers spend an average of $35 per purchase and shop on average per once per month. In this scenario, the retailer would create their first reward threshold at $100. With this formula, the majority of shoppers would reach their reward target by the end of their third purchase. So this will allow the fourth purchase to be the one including a redemption, which increases their basic size above their average. Aside from creating predictable revenue increases through larger basket sizes, a retailer will create a more engaging experience for shoppers through the use of loyalty and reward systems. While shoppers will have choices, rewarding them for their purchases will make those choices easier and help the retailer build and maintain greater wallet shares. Now, I know we've gone over quite a bit of information today and the normity of these concepts can seem overwhelming. However, AppCard will be guiding and supporting you every step of the way. Systems like AppCard are meant to make your life easier and squeeze more return from your marketing dollars. And as part of the overall AppCard experience, AppCard's success management team offers retailers valuable insights to help them achieve marketing goals. So in preparation for launching a new loyalty program with a retailer, AppCard success managers support cashier training, merchant dashboard training, as well as installation. They also coach retailers on what to expect post-launch and how to make the most of the platform based on their unique business needs. And AppCard success managers are are available every step of the way to ensure retailer success. So during the first 12 months on the platform, retailers will undergo three evolutionary cycles of marketing automations, each more specific and personalized as you continue capturing shopper identity and transaction information from shoppers. Prior to launching, your AppCard account executive will provide you with a written document customized to your business that will provide initial program type and reward catalog recommendations, as well as initial marketing setup. Over the next six months, your executive will meet with you regularly to discuss the data trends and make recommendations for different marketing campaign opportunities as they present themselves. So you will focus on shopper participation and CRM building leading up to the six month analysis. At the halfway mark, your account app card executive will provide you with new marketing automations based on data trends and shopper segmentation opportunities that we see fit. 
Lastly, on month 12, you will have captured sufficient data flow to allow for our artificial software to take reins. At this stage, we will begin to discuss with you our AI pinky settings to make sure to make sense for your business and implement the power of our AI. So to wrap everything up in terms of the main takeaway, pandemic or no pandemic, shopper retention should be a top priority. With the right experience, brands can keep customers coming back time and time again. All you have to do is make them want to. As brands look into the post-pandemic reality, heightened expectations from shoppers will continue to make data-driven personalization a must-have instead of a nice-to-have component. That's why data-driven loyalty approaches are likely to increasingly define the future for omni-channel customer-centric brands, such as AppCard. And now, placing all of our knowledge into action, you want to ask yourself a few questions to review and see what would be suited best for you and your business. So in terms of your review, your overall goal, what do you want to achieve? It's important to clarify your goals and the reason you would like to launch a loyalty program, whether it's driving more foot traffic, incentivizing repeat purchases, encouraging brand engagement, or enhancing personalization. List your answers and rank them by their importance and set your targeted goals. Next, how will you measure the success of your efforts? A goal really doesn't mean anything without having exact numbers. And you need to measure the metrics to be able to understand and improve the successes of your current program. Incentives. Why will shoppers do what you want them to? Keep your customers wanting more. Why? Because that is the expectation. You can offer free deals here and there, maybe some discounts, but if your customer feels that they can get a better, more personalized customer appreciated deal elsewhere, they will more than likely end up leaving you. Promoting, how to keep con customers engaged long-term. The plain simple fact that you have a loyalty program isn't enough to attract customers anymore. You have to inform, educate, and engage them. I know it sounds easy, so here comes the obvious. Promote, promote, promote. <laughs> and lastly, how to adjust and optimize your current strategy to meet new goals. So you've successfully launched a new loyalty program, but the work doesn't stop there. While trends are clearly pushing in new directions, no one knows for sure what is next for customer experience. As a result, organizations need to remain agile provide value and stay up to date on the needs of customers to ensure they remain loyal and keep them coming back long after the pandemic is over. And that's it. That pretty concludes much concludes my presentation for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, APCARD provides consulting services on an individual basis. I'd love to get to know you and your business a bit more. I'd be happy to show you how to set these types of campaigns up along with some of our other dri data-driven functionality. And even if you are looking to get some feedback on your current processes, I'm happy to help in any way I can. You can find my email above along with my direct office line. Happy holidays, everyone. Take care. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much, Candy, for um, the informative presentation here. Just uh, left us with some good questions to ponder as we're thinking through our own strategies. And, and um, uh, as she said, please do feel free to contact her with um, just for a consultation even, right, to, to talk about what you're doing today or what you're not doing or what you could be doing um, in light of those questions, in light of really what is possible with the AppCards platform. So please do feel free. Um, to contact her. We will send the recording of this presentation to you um, as promised after uh, in the next few days. So please watch for that in your inbox. And any any questions you might have, you can ask now or, or do feel free again, as we said, to email Candy, call her up. Um, Candy's a really, really helpful um, face at AppCard and knows the ins and outs both of Retail Pro and obviously of AppCard. So 
she'll be a, a really good uh, a help for you as you're thinking through your loyalty strategies there. So um, again, thank you all for your time. Please watch for uh, the email with this recording in your inbox later this week. Ho hope you all have a, a great holiday. And if you're coming out to NRF in January, please do come and see us at the booth, at our booth there. That'll be booth 6210. We'll look forward to seeing all of you there. Um, happy holidays. Ta-ta.